Okay, here we are at Old Bear's Bees. I've got my helper Aiden, aka Badger. What we're doing is we're going to uh, take the bees from this uh, bee vacuum that we had put together and we're going to dump them into this top bar hive real gently with a brush. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. We've already got the queen banded up on a top bar in here. She's in here, so we're just going to kind of move them in. So if you can move a little closer, you might get a little better action of what's going on here. Here we go. Trying to be gentle with them. We don't really want to beat them, beat them and bang them around. The, one of the problems are is this uh, top bar is not as wide as the Langstroth body is long. So if I just kind of turned them up and knocked them in, they would fall out the ends. And the reason I know that is because I did that yesterday. And so I don't really want to do that. So this is just kind of a slow, easy process, just encouraging them in. If you want to move away over to the front here, you can actually see what I'm doing and then uh, get you kind of a better idea of how they're, they're kind of clustered up in here. Don't you come closer, they're not going to get you. Because I have zoom on. Okay. Here Silly guy. Side. So you can see them in there. I'm just going to give them a little tap now that we got it a little bit closer. They're moving down in. All these bees are from different packages. We had several packages that did not survive with different queens. And about the only way that we could get them to go is basically create new packages out of them. So many of these are pretty much unrelated, but that's not a terrible thing because when, they, when they're put together in the packages, they're pretty much unrelated as well. We've got a new queen in there, and that's pretty much what they're looking for. Uh, there may be a little bit of infighting back and forth, but they're more... They're more concerned now that they, they're just looking for a queen. They, these guys have been queenless for a couple days, and so they're getting kind of desperate for a queen. So the smell of a queen is much better than the smell of no queen. So they should acclimate pretty quickly uh, to her and to this box, and shouldn't have a big, huge problem very much with one another. There's really not a whole big reason for them to be territorial right now, as they don't have an established hive. So it's more advantageous for them to work together right now and uh, to kind of get along and get things going than it would be for them to fight and argue with one another. So we're going to take this inner box, pretty much empty, we'll set it down here. Um, we still got a few bees here. If you want to step up, I'm going to shake this in, but I also want you to see some of the bees are already starting to fan. So they're already pretty much calling this home. They can evidently smell the queen is in here. And they're pretty much telling everyone else, hey guys, you know, let's let's just go ahead and get in here. This is where we're going to live. So I'm just going to continue to just gently work them down here. Trying to trying to keep a lot of the, the, the fuss and the must to a minimum. Uh, they're not really going after me too much. I mean, they're, they're, ab they're not real happy I'm doing this, of course. But like I said, these, these bees have been pretty confused. A couple, three days ago they were in Georgia. Then they, they got onto a... A semi and then they end up waking up in very cold Michigan yesterday and here we are today after they've lost their queen uh, several of them and they've got a new queen and they're just trying to kind of get their act together so it's been a pretty pretty challenging few days for them but we're gonna do the best we can to give them an, a, the best chance that we can to survive one thing I can guarantee without a queen these packages were dead there was nothing they could do especially being locked up in a package but even if they weren't uh, without a queen there's no one to to uh, replenish the hive with new bees. So here we sit. This may or may not be as successful as we, we wanted it to, but like I said, uh, it's, at least it's some chance better than no chance. So I'm gonna just put a few empty bars in here, kind of close it up a little bit and darken it off, give them some, some reason and some things to, uh, to build on. And then I'm gonna take my follower board, bring it up, close the space off for them a little bit, because on a if you're going to put a package or a group of bees or a swarm into a into a full-size top bar like this, you don't want to put them into a completely empty hive. You need a follower board to kind of close off the area. If it's too big of a space, a lot of times they don't like that. They'll get demoralized and a lot of times they'll just leave because it's kind of too much work for them all at once. They'll go look for somewhere else. So this is what we got. Thanks for following us here at Old Bears. Here's Badger. Going to say goodbye. Are you going to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. All righty. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll kind of keep you updated on what's going on here. Uh, best of luck to you and your beekeeping.